Okay, let's finish up with our Monday reading. I alluded to it last week. Our producer, our super producer, he's the best producer in the world, Henry Lockwood. His resume, his actually was an introductory email when he first got hired at Barstool, is one of the greatest pieces of literature I've ever read. Hank, do you want to say anything beforehand? Set the stage. You were 19, 18? I was 19. I was uh, just did like a one-year film program. I was in the middle of applying for other like shitty like PA jobs and like random video jobs. Mm-hmm. Went on Barstool. I saw a video. KFC was in the background like waving the flag, and I just assumed that KFC worked there too in the office because he was in the office. Right. And it was Dave being like, if there's anything you can do to help with this campaign, blah, blah, blah. And I like clicked because I was like, oh shit, I can. Dave do was it. running for mayor of Boston. Yeah, he made a video. He's like, I'm running for mayor of Boston. You know, I want to win this shit. We need people to help the campaign. Like, if there's anything you can do, email Weird Haircut Seth uh, and like tell us what you can do. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so it was at a time when I was like pitching myself to other companies and I was like, oh, boom. Boom. This is it. Boom. Okay. Excuse me. Bless you. Don't worry, I won't make fun of your sneeze. Cut that, cut that. Um, okay, Hank, I, I had a quick question, though. Yes. Was there anything in your life that happened uh, while you were in film school where you just said, fuck it, and it made you make the snap decision? Because it sounds like you were willing to risk it all for Barstool. Yeah, school. film school folded. No, no, that happened after the fact. Oh, okay. No, it was a one-year, it was a one-year program. I had your finished, check, your check I had, bounce? I had yeah. finished the one-year program. The you summer, went to Trump University of Film School. The No, well, it was, it was Boston University Center for Digital Imaging Arts, Uh a few years later, I think Boston University un- unaccredited it. They stopped associating themselves <laughs> uh-huh. with the school after okay. they learned you graduated from yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was it was it was good for what I needed to do. I needed experience. I needed to like I was doing it so I could get into another film school because I had no uh, like nothing on my resume. It's so. junior college for film school. Pretty much, yeah. most people just call that porn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, the real reason is I tried to like I had worked uh, like a landscaping job for my town the summer before. Then I for basically all I had to do was just resend an application just to like get back through the system and mm-hmm. back and I forgot to send it like it was just sitting in my apartment forgot to send it called them was like hey they're like yeah we already we already filled the spot like you don't have a job so I needed like I was like fuck like I, I was need a job. I was like I need to do something this summer you're panicking okay so here here's how it starts I want you also Hank to stop me whenever I read a lie okay <laughs> okay all right well so, yeah no just stop me whenever I read a all lie right. all right it starts Mr. El Presidente, <laughs> my name is Henry Lockwood, and I am going to be a game changer for your mayoral, mayoral campaign because I can give you all the film and editing services you need for your mayoral campaign for prices I guarantee, all caps, spelled G-A-R-U-N-T-E-E. That's tough when you spell it that wrong and you also capitalize it. <laughs> yeah. It kind of draws a lot of attention. A lot of attention to the guarantee, G A R U N T E E. The worst part about this, like I, everything I said is truth. I sent this email like ten times. I just copy and pasted <laughs> it. I never once was like spell check it. Like is this? No. A, I literally would just send this email. Like I would copy and paste it and just resend, resend, red, resend. Red little scribbles under everything. All right. So uh, for prices, I guarantee you will not find anywhere else. Period. All caps again. Free. <laughs> period way to negotiate hank right out the gate first sentence he's giving it to you for free yeah, so you gotta set yourself <laughs> apart so did you put a period or did you just write the word period no period free period okay uh i am 20 i am a 20 year old stoolie through and through that was the, a lie i was 19 but i wanted to make myself seem older nice okay, okay, first slide. Yeah. Okay. uh from the coastal town of situate down on the <laughs> social south shore nice uh more importantly, I am soon to be graduating from Boston University Center for Digital Imaging Arts on June 1st with a degree in digital filmmaking. That's a lie. Yeah. It, wasn't, it, wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't really graduating. Yeah. It wasn't really a degree. It wasn't any I got of a, that. I got a certificate yeah. in digital well, filmmaking. Here's a, little, here's a little tip for everybody. But again, if you, didn't, yeah. if you didn't graduate from college, I'm not making any judgments on people that don't because college is a fire fest kind of sometimes mm-hmm. um but if you don't graduate on your resume just put the years that you went there and say i finished at this school right. next year right uh all right so uh picking back up what does this mean to you and your campaign it means that i have the skills the equipment and the manpower necessary to write 
produce, and edit any kind of video you can possibly imagine or want to get made in any location at any time and make it look professional Probably for lie. free. I feel like that all was a lie because mm-hmm. you have the you you now have gone from graduating to having a full camera crew and equipment truck at your finger like fingertips. Well, technically, as part of the like tuition of the school, you you did have access to all this stuff for free for a year when okay. you were there. So that was no, and for a year after. But you, what about okay. when it goes away? The school. What do you mean? Oh, well, you, this it stayed. That didn't happen for a few years. All right, you're when good. I wrote you're this good. email, this okay. was all truth. So, what all kind right. of equipment did you have access to? They had everything. They had sound, green screen, like nice cameras. Yeah, you actually say right here. All right, here we the, go. The thing uh, was that I had access to it. I didn't really know how to use it that well. Right. But I did. That was you true. Did have that was the true. Ac- I, had, okay. I could technically get all this. Okay, stuff. so here you, you wrote it. As part of my tuition for school, I have access to a gigantic selection of film equipment for free. Uh, uh, for a year after graduation, as well as the cameras and equipment me and members of my group own, which includes but is not limited to Sony X1 camera, Canon T5-1 camera, tripods, a 16-foot rig with for crane type, swoop-down shots, C-stands, multiple types of lighting kits, depending on what type of look you are looking for, HD camera monitors, two different types of green screens, camera gels, dollies, flag kits, monopods, etc., Basically everything you need and more to make videos for your campaign and website at no cost to you. All that's good. True. I mean, that's good. a great pitch. Okay. Well, yeah, that is a great pitch. When it comes to editing, I am trained on Final Cut X, the most up-to-date Final Cut version available in the industry standard for filmmakers. I have the program on my lap. That's kind of a lot. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> so what did you know about editing? I well, I mean, so the school, like they they went they basically like you did things in like a week or two weeks, so they'd be like, All right, final cut, you learn for two weeks. So it's like right. you I knew enough to know what I to, to like put this in an email. To open it up. But I didn't really like this, know this that is, how to uh, use any of the stuff this is that very well. relatable, by the way. Everyone who's ever applied for any job anywhere has said that they are proficient in Microsoft Excel and like no one is. No one knows. All no I one. all I know is I can move the cursor from cell to cell. Yeah, the one guy who is is fucking awesome at it. Yeah. And it's a thing of beauty, but everyone else pretends they are it and is. Like, they like, don't know. It's like watching Mozart play the oh, piano. Oh, it's unbelievable. Someone who's sick at Microsoft Excel fucking love it. Uh okay, so let's see. I have the program on my laptop as well as my desktop at home. I'm also trained in experience in motion graphics for title sequence stuff, and always good when you can use stuff in a in a cover letter, mm-hmm. and color correction to ensure the quality of the video is top notch and not some shitty movie iMovie edit with generic graphics and text that everyone has seen Wait, before. Wait, how come you've never done any color correction here? Hmm. I have. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. What are you saying that we're we're too pale that you have to make us look tanner? I thought no. there was only one editor here who knew how to do that. Ah, uh, no. I mean, no, not going to show anyone here, but there's no one here that knows how to do it like professionally. But <laughs> there's, I do do some. It's a good slight, thing they're yeah. not getting paid for. Yeah, it. yeah. yeah. Uh, there's no way you're going to find someone who has access to this type of equipment and crew personal with pers- personal, but it's person, personnel, yeah. but it's personal <laughs> with a totally clear schedule, willing to do it for free because I doubt there's many diehard stoolies with nothing but time and lots of equipment. There's no actually pe- that's. Like a lot of yeah, stoolies, yeah. Didn't put a P in that equipment. Uh, equipment on their hand, hand <laughs> equipment <laughs> on their hand, willing to work for you and your team around the clock. But maybe I'm wrong. That's a doozy of a sentence. There's no way. There's no way you're going to find someone who has access to this type of equipment and crew personnel with a totally clear schedule, willing to do it for free. Because I doubt there's many diehard stoolies with nothing but time and all lots right, of right, film equipment right. on their hand, willing to work for you and your team around the clock. But maybe I'm wrong. But maybe I'm wrong is a, is a great way to end that <laughs> sentence. So that that, that, sentence. that catches someone's eye. Now, did he spell Ghana? G U N N A? No, he's got Ghana right. He's got Ghana right. We're good with that. Uh, I don't care about money. Again, good way to <laughs> anchor this negotiation. I don't care about money because I Abuse understand me. the amount of money and effort it takes to run a campaign. And since I can get all the equipment for free, I just figured I would offer you what I have and let it be at your disposal because I want to see you as mayor, spelled with an E, and also because <laughs> there's nothing else I would rather do with my time that would be more helpful or more fulfilling than helping you and Barstool campaign team shock the world and become mayor, spelled correctly. 
<laughs> you actually spelled mayor two Three. different ways in the yeah. same sentence. That's fantastic. Uh, again, everything I'm putting on the table is free of charge, so it's really a no loss situation. Again, I really, for you. really want to stress that you can abuse me <laughs> as much as you want. I mean, this got him a job. His fucking Hank is is yeah. producer of the number one sports podcast. Now, this is how you make it, kids. Uh, we all have have had this moment. I I remember I had this moment. I I sent out a resume once with just the wrong email address on everything. I was like, why am I not getting any replies? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm attaching my demo reel that I give to the corporations when applying at their companies. <laughs> how many cor- how many corporations do you apply? For? The companies. I man. mean, this was I'm, when I was writing this, I was like applying to other. Places oh, you were okay. Oh, so this yeah. went out everywhere. Yeah, he, yeah. This no, was going no, no, out no. to all the corporations and, and their several, companies and several companies. Yes. No, I didn't get any. <laughs> Offers or job offers from any of those corporations that I applied to. No, I like I like what you, so except Barstool, which is so perfect. Hank, I like what you're doing here because yes, you have kind of gone out of your way to say you don't have to pay me, but you've also kind of made yourself wanted by letting Dave know yeah. that there are many companies, there's offers, and there are corporations yeah. out there that are interested. People in your are real. Yeah, people are actively bidding for Henry Lockwood yeah. services. So yeah, uh, so if you can make me an offer that's exactly zero dollars, yeah, I'll exactly take it. free, or maybe even less than free. I'll, I'll consider it. All right. I'm attaching my demo reel that I gave to the corporations when applying at their companies as well as my resume and my Gronk the World video I made before I went to film school along with my buddies that shows deep down I'm just a movie junkie stoolie that loves to smash shit. That's it right there. That's the fucking selling point. If you have any questions or are interested to call me, you left your phone number and your email. Viva La Stool, Henry Lockwood. This... I love this because honestly, Hank, I know it's probably a little embarrassing, but it's also like very relatable because every kid out there who's like 18, 19, maybe you're graduating college trying to figure out what to do. You probably have sent out a resume with some words misspelled. And guess what? Mm-hmm. Hank is here now all because he's re- ready to work for free. The Well, the real reason I will say it is a little embarrassing reading it back, especially with all the spelling errors. The guarantee is the tough one because it's all caps. Yeah. It's the second sentence. Yeah, and that's just kind of a problem I've always had of just like phonetically spelling things, not you know what, though, that, correctly spelling that it. That told me that you were enthusiastic while you were writing it. Yeah. But, so you didn't the, have time to go back and This email it. really meant nothing because Dave never even read it. He like This this <laughs> this got brought to his attention like three years later, and, and someone was like, how did you hire this kid? And, and Dave replied to the tweet. He's like, I didn't see this email Weird haircut. Seth hired him. I never would have saw him. I never would have hired him if I saw this. <laughs> uh, but what I did is that I sent this, and I probably sent it like, no joke, like fifteen times. Like I just kept copy and pasting, sending it to weird, weird haircut. Seth, copy and pasting, sending it to weird haircut. Seth. And then eventually, what I guess I heard, like after the fact, behind the scenes, is they had like a, a trouble with like a film crew, and they're like, "Who should we get?" And Seth was just like, "This kid's been emailing me nonstop." And then, get, like, he said that to Gaz, and then Gaz called me. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah! So, like, Gaz didn't even read the email. Never give Seth up. Seth was just like, this kid, like, th- he heard Dave and Gaz having a conversation, like, what are we going to do? And he was like, this kid's been emailing me nonstop, like, blah, 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 blah. So your resume was essentially just a series of emails that somebody yeah. saw that they got. Just like, it said Henry Lockwood, and then parentheses, 25, because there were 25 emails. And that will work for free. That little subject line was your resume in this case. Yes. And then Hank got hired, and well, then his first day no, on the I worked job, for, I worked for free for like. Well, yeah, for well, you did. I mean, why wouldn't you? Because you said you said it like sixteen yeah. times. Well, yeah, but Dave, <laughs> no, Dave didn't even know that <laughs> when he yeah, when, when I got brought bait in. and switch. True. If he showed up and Billy. Like, okay, my salary like, demands. Are- but he did show up, and Hank's first day on the job was the day that we did our first like big video, and Hank was running the whole thing. Well, Gaz. So then Gaz called me. He was like, <laughs> call. He gives me a call. He's like, hey, we're uh, doing this video tomorrow with Todd McShay. Like, can you come help edit it? And I was, like, shooting my pants, like, Todd McShay, like, holy fuck, ESPN, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then we showed up, he's like, all right, this is our equipment, like, this is what we have, like, what, sh- like, how should we set it up, blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I said I could, I said I know how to use this stuff, I don't actually. how the video turn like, out? Like, uh, you can uh, watch it, it's still up there somewhere on YouTube, but yeah, it was okay. I mean, the beauty of, like, when I started, I was so bad at making videos, and now people look back, like, these are the best videos, because it's, like, the Barstool Charm, it's like, yeah. They're just shitty videos, yeah. but like people for whatever reason like like them for nostalgia reasons. The more, I, yeah. I always cringe watching back because it's just like, I mean, it looks it's very elementary. Yeah, Can the I most. Tell you yeah. So um, when I was probably about your age, the age that you are now. So yeah, we're we're laughing, we're having a good time. You are way more successful right now oh, yeah. than I was when I was your age. Oh yeah. Um. At at this age, I sent a very similar email 
to Chris Cooley, the tight end of the Redskins. You remember he was like trying to get into sports blogging and he was like writing a bunch of shit. And I was like, hey, man, I noticed that you're doing this, this and this. It's pretty funny. I can help you out with your video services because I owned a video. Ca- I owned like a nice camera. I lied way more than you lied about you what I Final could do. Final Cut Pro. And then his brother Tanner, the Cooley boys, they were some ratty bros. Um, they got back to me and they're like, yeah, let's do it. Next day, he takes a picture of his dick and accidentally posts it online. Uh, and he's like, we've been asked to kind of tone it down by the organization, so I don't know <laughs> if we're going to be doing any, more, any video stuff. So that was a minor seven-year stumbling block in my career. Yeah. Um, but good for you, Hank. You were scrappy, you were gritty, you were determined, and it worked. Yes. That's the bottom line. And now you're here. It's it's fantastic read. It's funny. It would not be a funny read if you weren't here right now. Now yeah. it's a funny oh, yeah. read because, like, yeah, you're very successful. Yeah, let's read all the resumes of people that yeah. we decided not to hire yeah. and make it that, that would just be mean. All caps. Guarantee. G-A-R-U-N-T-E. If you are going to apply for an internship this summer, we need someone that's good at uh, Pro Tools. Ooh, and mm. also spreadsheets. I want the Excel. I want I want you to figure out uh, numbers for me. I want you to mostly teach Pro me Tools. numbers. Yeah, mostly yeah, Pro but Tools. Yeah, but no, but mostly I really Pro need Tools. the numbers thing. I want numbers. We'll have somebody that knows what numbers are. Yeah. All right, PFT, this is future PFT. Good luck on your flight. If I died, this podcast right now is going to be worth a shitload of money. Mm-hmm. So here's what you do. I want you. I want your word on this, guys. If I die in a plane crash or in a Hong Kong accident or I get kidnapped and sold into white slavery, um, I want you guys to sell this podcast. Only one person gets it. The highest bidder. Squarely style, like when you bought okay. the Wu-Tang album. So just this this tape. Just this part of the tape. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'll tell I'm you, looking out I'll for tell, you. I'll tell a live you right now that we'll do that. But if the final four, if my final four bets didn't go well, I will definitely do like a, once I raise enough money, I'll release it to everyone. I don't. I'm being honest with you. The, my My dying wish for you is for me to be honest to you. I don't. You don't get to do a dying <laughs> wish to me. My dying. That's it right there. My dying wish to you is to sell this. To, I'm gonna sell Mark for Cuban. as much cash as I can get right away. Sell it to Tom Dundon. Again, much cash right away. Okay. Love you guys. <laughs> this is spooky PFT from Beyond the Grave. Ooh.